Okay. And we continue where we left off. But yeah, that's that's why I don't think that that's a very fun uh, way of doing things, is because it's it's like the anti speed run thing. Like imagine you were trying to speed run this game. You were really good at it. You you had parry and repose times down perfectly. You could consistently get backstabs all the time. And then you get to this section. It's like, well, I better slow my walk to toddler speeds. It's not interesting or fun. It's not. It's not an enemy you have to think about. It's just, oh hey, here's a bunch of the lowest level enemies in the game. But there's a bunch of them. So fuck you. The good news is, is that... Not having souls to worry about, I don't have to, like, feel bad about it. I can wait for my shit to come back. Come on. There we go. But yeah. Hey look, not fun mechanics. I feel like when this was tested, they put all these bodies in here and they were like, alright, tell me what you think of it. And some QA tester was like, yeah, it's not really fun. And they were like, alright, add three more. And they attack at such random intervals that it's impossible, like, you can't just sit and wait. It's just to kill Estes. That's- WHY WOULD YOU DRINK TWO?! Jesus fuck, video game! <sighs> also, if your health is full, it should not immediately use one of those. It should be like, you can't use that right now, your health is already full. Like, seriously. Okay. fought the Demon of Hatred because of the way that it flies up in the air. It makes it super less fun to deal with. Because of the camera. That's horseshit. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really do that. And I don't like the idea of clipping a boss out of bounds to kill it. I think that that's just, like... In a speedrun, that's one thing, but if you're beating the game like that, it's not really... Like, I don't want to be that guy. Like, that's just not how I want to do things. I, I want to fight the boss in the way that it was 
air quotes intended to be fought. I, I don't mind it in a, I don't mind like doing an easier method of a fight. Like if it's, if the option is attack it straight up or backstab the fuck out of it, I'm okay with the backstab the fuck out of it one. Um, like I'm super okay with that as a, as a, not a cheesy method to do it, but as a, hey, here's the easy way of the two. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Alright, come on, man. Yeah. No, bad. bad. Are you fucking kidding me? Let. Me. Fucking. Repost. It's all I want is to just be able to fucking repost. And yes, I, I did see the, the demon of patron fight. I happened to catch the end of it. Exploits. Exploits can be fun if you know what you're doing and if you're doing it intentionally. Like speed runs where you clip things out of bounds. That's cool. I think it's interesting to see that kind of shit. But. In a regular casual playthrough, I. I don't. But that's just me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Give me whatever stupid thing I've So, like, if my option is... If there, if there are three ways to fight a boss, there's the hard way where you just brute force it. There's the easy way where it has specific triggers. Like, uh, I don't know. Think, like... I don't want to say, like, Dark Souls bosses where they have Pine Tar, where there's a weakness that they're specifically designed to. This is a stronger way to fight them. But more a, um... Like... If you could damage the gargoyles by making... So there's a bunch of gargoyles that line the building. Um, yeah, fire for the pig. If there were... If all the gargoyles that are currently lining the, build, the the roof... If you got it to smash those gargoyles and each time you did... That did, like, morale damage to it. Which would translate to some type of killing it. So you could, you could either hack the shit out of it... Or you could get it to smash all of the other gargoyle statues and that would kill it. I would be okay with doing it the smash all the gargoyles way. If it was, there's those two options, and then if you stand in one specific place, the boss can't ever hit you, so you just stand there, and you can attack it without it hitting you, and eventually it'll despawn, and you'll get the loot, and the door will open. That, I think, is stupid. That's the kind of thing I don't want to do. Alright, where are my souls? No point in healing in this game. And that was a waste of my fucking time. Shit like that is also unfun. There being no barrier so that you can just fall off the edge, that's not fun either. It's it's actively anti-fun.
by the way, me doing this, that, that spark you see, that's, that's your repost. That's your parry. That's how much it is. It's just that spark. Finally! Thank you for actually giving me a fucking repost. Christy, Sabrina, will you tell Christy to just get her ass in here so we can talk? Because I can't keep getting these fucking things. Yeah, it's like three frames. It's ridiculous. It's, it's intentionally very small. Are you fucking kidding? God, this shit is not fun. Hello, how are you today? Is it the Zonark? The Zonark, welcome. Okay. Friend, please get off of me. <laughs> top off since I know he's gonna jump and fucking lunge at me the second I walk into the room. As you do when you're a bastard gargoyle. <sighs> Alright, take it. What, what attempt is this on these stupid folks? Really? I couldn't even get the roll off? Alright, video game. Whatever you say. Yeah, like, see how there's gargoyles that line the building? I think that if, like, you could get him to smash those, and it would also damage him, that would be a cool mechanic. But, obviously, that's important. Really? Really?! So I can roll twice, and neither of them do anything? What horseshit. that something has been posted, but I can't really read it right now. Alright, you need to not be against the edge, because I cannot get behind you like that. So please cooperate with me for half a fucking second! breathing fire now. Really? Okay, well at least they were in sync that time. Very fast. I don't like it when they... Oh god. I couldn't even move. the same time I did. <laughs> attempt 10. What, what do you mean attempt 10 ish? Oh. Oh, oh. I thought that was. Never mind. I'm done. Remember when I said I don't remember anything that someone. that I said literally two seconds ago? Because I have the memory of a goldfish? Remember when I said that? Because I certainly don't. Because I have the memory of a goldfish. Anyway. Seriously, healing in this game is absolutely fucking pointless. <sighs> Our games are in sync, which means that they're out to get us. Okay. 
Time to clip my fucking axe into walls again for the next five minutes. Oh, I actually got the repost? Thank you, game! For once. Okay. I love how it's like... Animations can just straight up get interrupted on your end. Wow, 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 wow! So, two of them did their little, like, melee fucking flail thing where they hit you five times, clipped me into a corner so that I got stuck, and then fucking murdered me. What horseshit! God, this is the most unfun part of this game. Uh, I don't know what you said, Christabel, but I'm sorry. Stream, Streamlabs is a little, um... Holy fuck. Okay, you know what? You're, you're not in trouble for saying that. Streamlabs is just a little bit, uh, overzealous when it comes to censoring things. Which I have fixed, by the way, and it still does it. I don't know why it still does it, but it does. Let me see if I can't fix that. While we're in a relatively safe space. Um, let's see. Timers? No. Want to run word projection preferences. Use default blacklist. Save. Alright. Hopefully that'll fix it. I have turned off the default blacklist. Because I don't care if people say fuck. No part of me gives a shit. I say fuck all the time. I say fuck like every couple of sentences. Why won't you just let me repost? Why do you hate me, video game? Yeah. They're Australians present. <laughs> We're tight night. Wonderful. Oh, hey, look. Like, one body's worth of soul. That totally makes up for all what I've lost because of these very specific mobs. This very specific, unfun section of the game. See, this is what I mean about not being... You not being able to move when you're healing is such a detriment that... I'm, I'm gonna harp on this for a long time. Fuck's sake. Like, I've already used up three fucking Estus Fasts, because as I'm healing, they hit me. The post above mine was the fuck. You could still walk while checking. Like, you should be able to slow walk. Like, like, this speed. So that you can at least take a few steps to get out of attacks. Because it's just... Boss hits you for 100, your Estus Flask heals you for 100, boss hits you for 90. Okay, I've wasted a, char a charge of my healing for fuck all. Thanks for offering. Oh, 
See what I mean? And bosses are just so much faster than you. Like, I can't escape him. There, there's no time to back off to heal. And I think that my biggest problem with it is that the longer it goes on, the more it feels like a really, really bad attempt at masturbating. Where, by the time you get off, it's not, oh hey, that felt really good, it's, fucking finally, I'm done. I can move on with my life now. It doesn't feel good, it, it doesn't, it's just, well, at least that's fun. Two bosses is just all sorts of bullshit. I don't think the tail falls off until you kill it. Like, I can't just lop its tail off midway through. I don't remember. I'd have to look. But yeah, having two bosses and the fact that one just spams a long range attack that moves faster than you do. Oh, this is the wrong path. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things I don't like about the Bell Gargoyles. And I stand by my bad masturbation session comment, where it's like, you're kind of, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of in the mood, and you're like, oh, no, no, why not? It's a good way to waste 10 minutes or whatever. And, and, but you can't find, you can't find the right thing. I don't know, you're, you're like looking for one really specific thing of porn, or like a super specific movie or story that you remember reading like a year and a half ago but you can't find it. And the whole time you're like, one hand is, is you're, you're trying to keep yourself in the mood, but you're getting more and more frustrated. And eventually you're just like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. And you get to the end and it's just not fun. No, that, stop. So it doesn't feel fulfilling, it's just like, ugh. Because I definitely think that there's there's a middle ground between the this is a really fun fight, like some of the ones in Sekiro, where they were legitimately super fun. And even though they were challenging, like when I when I was fighting Ishin at the very end of Sekiro, that fight was a bitch. Especially because it had like four phases. And when I finished it, I felt really good because as I was learning, I was getting better. And I was, I was noticing where I was making mistakes. I was noticing the problems that I was, I was having and how I could fix them. Um, with this, it's just like, I don't know what I can do to do it better. Because if I focus on one, the other one fucks me up from behind. And things like, I roll and I get hit. And then as soon as the weapon pulls away, I roll. Like, really? Video game? What? 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 Or honestly, this shit. Oh hey, he's gonna fly completely out of range. Goody. That's, that's totally fair and fun. I'm gonna get my 
nicht so. And I get it, I bitch a lot. It's what I do. But... Oh, for fuck's sake! Three times in a row that motherfucker rolled and jumped right out of range of my attack. Who designed that? So you know. And the gargoyles are apparently vulnerable to fire. I don't have any fireballs. I have one. Oh wow, that's just horseshit. My problem with wasting resources is that if it doesn't actually kill them, it's just waste. I can't just walk back and buy 50 of them. If I waste these things, I'm fucked. I don't have them for the next attempt, and I would rather just kill them without. So, so, saying use this item, honestly don't. Just don't even suggest it. I know you're trying to help, but it doesn't, because... You know, maybe one time I hit it with the firebomb or get it with the, the electricity. And look at this. Now I've got one. I had three. And now I have one. And I don't know if or when I will get more. And if I don't kill it, I don't get it back. If, if I got it back afterwards, like, if you, if you were in a boss fight and anything that didn't successfully kill the boss fight, you only lost it if the boss died, then yeah, I'd use my shit all the time. But I have a finite number of resources, and why won't you let me repost? Okay, so he's gone into parry stance. Out of parry stance, into parry stance. So you can tell when this guy holds his sword up like that, he's waiting to parry you. I, I do appreciate the suggestion, and were it a unlimited resource, I would be all on board with that. I'd be like, oh, hey, cool, really? Awesome. I'll use that next time. But when I only have one of them, I just don't want to waste it. And I know that part of that is like the, this is an important item. Save it for when you really need it, and you end the game with 15 of them. Okay, video game, I get it. There's a bunch of them. They can attack. Jesus fucking Christ. that's the problem with with uh, single-use items in video games in general, is that when it tells you it's something that is going to matter to use it later, if you're not 100% sure that you're going to get the kill that time, and in Dark Souls, you're never sure. Like, it could be they have one hit point left, you have ten Estus flasks. What the hell just happened? 
Honestly, what happened? I, I have no idea what the fuck that was just there. I honestly do not know. Oh. You know, you get a 10 SS flask, the boss has one hit point, you're at full health. And I would still not trust it to for that to be a final kill. What was that? Oh, hey, thank you for the follow. Oh, is that what that is? I've never actually seen what, what the notification is. Apparently it's a hypnotized cat. Oh, for fuck's sake, every time I go to swing, this bitch flies off. Come on, just let me hit you. All glory to the hit that cat, apparently. Alright, so now it's gonna... Yep! As soon as I heal, it just flies up and smashes me in the face. Oh, finally I got your fucking tail. You colossal asshole. Alright, now I'm in a better mood. I am instantly in a better mood. I am no longer in a better mood. stats do I need to wield this effectively? I wish it would tell you. Like, legitimately, just tell me what stats I need. You need more strength to wield this weapon. Okay, thank you. Now I know what to actually go for. Heft. Can someone find out? I'd appreciate it. Really? Were we not paying attention? Lit gargoyle tail. Thank you. Alright, let's give this one more try before I do an episode cut since I have the tail. <laughs> like the one that's called gargoyle tail. <laughs> There's a reason I've been shouting gib tail for the past 20 minutes. I take that back, it's been like an hour and a half now on this stupid fucking boss. But I got it! So that's nice. Really? I do think it's kind of funny that the, the attack animation and the timing is like... Are you dead? You're dead. Um, you, can, you can just like parry, parry, parry and they're attacking exactly opposite, and neither of you connect. It's kind of funny. In, like, the stupidest way imaginable. Like, two people slap fighting, but they're a little bit too far apart, so they never quite hit one another.
14 strength, 14 dex. You know what, it doesn't help, like, this whole bullshit gauntlet doesn't help that you're in a space with no visibility at all. Like, it being in a hallway where, where that shit can happen, the camera angle being bad, everything else. Okay, so 14, 14, eh? So you said, okay, so I need to up my dex because my strength is already well more. Okay. Cool, good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah, the fact that it's like a shitty corridor, it just makes it 10 times worse. If it was a whole gauntlet in like a place where the, the, the camera didn't do this, it'd be fine. All right, so now I immediately have to like, not roll out of the way? What the fuck, game? Does my controller not work? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Apparently not. Okay, so I don't have to focus on the tail anymore. I mean, I'm still gonna, because it's an easy place to hit. You know, it's relatively safe by comparison. Shit, shit, shit! You're spawning earlier and earlier, other gargoyle. What's up with that? Why, though? What, why would you roll into it, game? I very specifically rolled sideways, and you're just like, nah, back's good. That was the last one for this attempt. We'll be back.